This next one I know is extremely close to our hearts, and particularly yours. That's true. Uh, uh, next up, a board game has been announced for based on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, there were, in fact, two Buffy the Vampire Slayer board games in the past. We have a, you own one, and we've played it. One of which is actually, I think, pretty good for the a one you're talking game about. from the 90s. Yeah. yeah, or maybe early 2000s. But I mean, yeah, I think it does. It really plays a lot like Last Night on Earth. It has some issues, but for a... Old game based for, on Buffy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good compared to like that Jurassic Park game. <laughs> right, the lost. <laughs> it beats the Lost World game, uh, Island Survival yeah. Terror. Uh, this one not related to that new company. It comes from Jasco Games, who you may remember as the company that produced the Mega Man board game that was on Kickstarter uh, about a year ago, or then and the, that's just coming out right now, or just came out. It came out. Like yeah, it's, it, I think it, it's had. It's Very one of limited. those production issue games, but. The game itself, I think people generally liked. But better than the Mighty Nine. Yeah, better now. than Mighty <laughs> Number Nine, right? They, they have a, that's a, maybe a low bar. Anyway, we don't know much about this game. There's not much information to go on. What we do know is that it's fully cooperative, and there will be cards, there will be a board, and somehow you'll be working together to, they say, to uncover the plan of the big bad. So presumably there will be multiple enemies from the different seasons that you can go after, it's different scenarios, and you'll be playing as the different characters, I'm assuming, Buffy <laughs> at all. And that, for me, that's a really good sign because the first, the one that I have, which while fun, is not completely cooperative, and even on the cooperative side, it's not very well balanced in that one person is the Slayer and one person is Xander who's like, you will die in two hits. <laughs> I like how it's, it's, because I remember the where it's like, you're this, this, and there's Xander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which like, I feel bad, but that's sort of like, it's kind of funny. Fault. Yeah, it kind of works in no, a way. No, but, but I do think I'm this great they thing. That I mean, out. I would not be surprised if the crossover for Buffy fans, I don't know if you have a name. Oh, well, Weedonites, I suppose, Weedonites. but in general uh, terms. Or, uh, you whatever. Know, the crossover, I mean, <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, Scoop, the Sco Scoobies, Scooby, can't, go ahead. Just go but ahead. anyways, uh, that with board game, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we do think there's plenty of lore and stuff to make a great game. I mean, we've both mentioned how I think it would be very good in, uh, as you, to refer a legendary set. Yeah, which they are doing Firefly, so right. not too far off. So, I mean, it just seems perfect for... And if the box art is any indication, there will, this will be an original art driven game, not screenshots from the show, which I always appreciate. Also, I love how you, you first you're getting your Harry Potter, you're getting your I, Buffy. Yeah, you're on a roll. Everything's coming together for me. We just need Transformers for you, and then we'll be... No, no, what, what's going to happen now? <laughs> yeah. Next week, we're going to hear about a Gotham game. <laughs> <laughs> God, yes. I'm going to go design that. That's going to be And great. then uh, the, the other show you like that you tell me to avoid watching, because you know I might, I won't. What, 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 what don't say, uh, the, not Horace and Pete. Yes. <laughs> Yes. That, we're going to get a board game of that. <laughs> I'm, I, use, I believe many things should be board games. Horace and Pete may not be one of them. <laughs> uh, but you should check out those shows if you haven't. Anyway, Buffy Game comes out for Halloween this year, October. So Ooh, so maybe we'll be we'll showing it off then. Be good. I think it comes out like right before Halloween, so we might not have time to actually show it off. But Maybe if we're lucky, you'll dress up as Buffy for it. <laughs> Let, let us know. Let us know if you want to see that or not. Let's make a poll. Should Jonathan dress up as Buffy for Halloween? 